All right, uh, let's begin with the main work, main sheet of painting. So you can take a 2B pencil or 4B pencil and make it very lightly. As I showed you, first goes with the circle. Another one is rectangle. Draw as lightly as you can. To make it darker, you cannot erase it later. And here comes the small rectangle which is the nose part of the bull. And this straight line will help you place the eyes and the jawline proportions of the portrait correctly. And the straight line for the horns. Draw as lightly as you can. These are the shapes which we practiced before. Now slowly I'm gonna take the shape of the bull. So please observe carefully. This is the jawline part, which goes to the nose. All right. This is the nose part. And the oval shape here will be the ears. And this straight line will help you to place the eyes correctly. Eyes comes here. So here comes only the one eye and the other one will be covered with the hairs which we are doing. Just the random curve lines you can draw on top of the head. And the nose part Mm -hmm. 
I'm just taking the shape. And this is the hair of the bull. And I'm just erasing the unwanted lines after my sketch is done. I'm just erasing the straight lines which I did. Here is my sketch ready. Now I'm taking the burnt sienna, or you can also use Indian red with the small brush. Here is my palette. I'm just mixing it consistently not too much of water i'm just gonna give the outlines for my sketch I'm taking the medium size brush with the same color. I'm just filling inside the hair part and the ears. Okay, we shall move to the next step. I'm taking the yellow ochre and mixing it with the same color which I did for here. Burnt sienna or Indian red. I'm just mixing it with yellow ochre. And you can use more of yellow ochre for the nose. And the last filling part of the horns, I'm taking burnt umber and white. I'm just taking the dark brown color, which is burnt umber. only the edges of the horn. And I'm mixing white, which is the medium shade, comes in the center of the horn. And you take the more of white, which will be the highlight shade, I'm using more of white for the highlight, the highlighting the horn. 
that's it okay i'll just wait for some time here yes i'll just repeat the colors which i used i used burnt amber which is the darkest shade of brown for the edges of the horns and i mixed a little bit of white which is the medium tone i just gave in the center of the horn and using more of white for the burnt amber which will be the highlight for the horns i'm taking the orange color very little orange mixing with yellow ochre i'm using these two colors very little of orange and more of yellow ochre i took the small size brush here let me show you the mixing this shade and here which we are doing the hair part of the bull please observe the patterns which this is very random and you can mix white little bit of white to getting the lighter shade here i mixed little bit of white for the same color which i did and i'm just going to highlight the nose part and finally goes the random hairs with the same color you can just observe look at the patterns of the curved lines which i'm doing for the hair it's just very random lines i'm just doing the random lines here make sure you don't fill the entire hair part just the lines like this you can use more of white shade to make it more lighter okay and quickly i'm just going to show you the eyes and the nose part which is i'm using the burnt amber you just have to fill with the darker color i'm just going to take the outline of this face with this very small brush you can just show the edges of the face like this with the curved lines okay then let's move to the next step i'm taking the small brush small brush I'm just highlighting the eyes just with the small tiny dot on the corner of the eye okay i just gave one small dot for the eye and with the same yellow lighter shade i've just given the outline 
for the i. And you can show the edges of the curved lines, which is here like this. And we are doing the background part. Background part, let's keep it abstract as the color you choose any color. Let's make it a little colorful. Please take the, any color of your choice. I'm gonna take orange and scarlet lake. Okay. And for the background, I'm yes using more of water. I'm diluting the color with more of water. I'm mixing the color, both the color. Right, yes, the work is done. 